All right, digital publishing bestie, we're going to create our first digital product in 30 days. And I'm going to share with you how to do this step by step. This is going to be pretty actionable. So make sure you go ahead and grab your pen and paper or just go ahead while you're on your laptop. Do these things while I am going through with you. OK, hey, guys, I'm Shari Deloach. I am your digital publishing bestie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we discuss all things digital publishing, multiple streams of income, passive income, SEO platforms. We do all of that over here. All right. So we're going to start with day one through five. This is where you're going to want to do the brainstorm and research. OK, let's talk about profitable niches or product types. OK, so we got profitable niches. You need to find the different profitable niches. How you can do this is definitely just going on a YouTube, going on. Um, you can use TikTok to see what people are buying, what's trending. OK. The different type of products that I know personally that a lot of people are buying is ebooks, journals, planners, or some templates. Okay. Choose from one of those four and go with it. Okay. So if you want uh, the easiest one, you can definitely start off with is a journal. Um, those type of things seem to be very, very much easy to start off with. Okay. Now, if you want to start off with a journal or a planner or maybe some templates, do some market research. So like go on Etsy, right? And on Etsy, I want you to type in the word journal or think about the type of journal you want to produce. So maybe it's a goals journal of, you know, a 2025 planner. Go up there to look, especially on Etsy and look at the different shops to see you know how much people are selling that's a great thing i love about etsy because it would tell you in a particular shop how many how much they are selling now i won't tell you per product but it would tell you that okay so there are some tools out there that you can use i'm going to have a list of tools like uh for digital publishers you can grab that right here below in the description so you'll see the type of tools that you can use for research okay so like let me tell you some tools that i personally like um google trends um you can use pinterest look at amazon those are some different tools that you can use for research okay this is what you're doing day one through five and here's your action step write down your three digital product ideas okay so write down the three ideas from your research that you want to create okay so that's what you're doing in days one through five all right so now that we have the research done now it's time for us to validate the idea so how can you validate if your idea is going to work you can do surveys so you can do different surveys or polls different social media platforms allow you to do this i know instagram has stories where you can you know have people to do a poll i know facebook has it in their posts like when you get ready to make a new post you can put a you know a question about you know if i was to create a goals journal um, would you buy it a goals journal for entrepreneurs would you buy it see what people would buy if you really want to go a step further allow people to put their money where their mouth is okay if you um you can we can kind of discuss this more when we go into the creating the product but people can put their money where their mouth is if they feel like they really want to have it have them to uh, do pre-orders so this is how you can validate your idea nothing beats validation more than people actually paying before they get it okay but that's a little tough sometimes i'm going to tell you that i'm going to be honest that's a little tough if you don't have a built-in audience already but if you're new you might not want to try that you probably want to just validate the idea even with family and friends and that's all the people that's following you like on your Facebook but there are many different ways in which you can validate so you can do surveys you can do polls or pre-selling if people want to do that okay um, so use your platforms like Instagram you can use YouTube YouTube in their com in the community tab you they have it where you can ask different um, questions and you can get polls I really like that because 
it's a pro and a con to the community aspect when it comes to that on YouTube is that you don't know who's participated in the poll unless somebody comments. Uh, but with YouTube, you get much of a broader reach. So people that don't subscribe to your channel will also see that poll too, and they can participate in the poll, which is great because you're getting outside of like your Facebook and Instagram. So that's why I highly recommend for you to use a SEO platform such as YouTube because it's going to allow you to get a broader reach. Okay. So here's your action step with that. The day six through 10, this is what you're doing. You're creating a simple survey or post to get feedback on your top idea. Okay. So this is based on the three ideas that you got from day one through five. And now we're going to validate it. Okay. So this should be, this is more than enough time. It gives you five days to get this validation done and you can play with the questions that you ask to get some data. This is what you, this is basically what we're doing. Day six through 10 is getting that data. Do not skip these steps. Okay. Do not skip these steps. All right. So the next, the next day, so we got days 11 through 15. This is where we're going to actually create the product. Okay, we're going to create the product. Now, if you want to time lapse this, if you want to, you know, a little faster, you don't really want to create, <laughs> you can use PLR products. PLR stands for private labor rights. This is where the products are created for you. Okay. I have a list in the description. You can click right on it. It's going to, it's a, it's a free list. You can get that list. It's going to be on a Google doc that I have a list of PLR sites that I highly recommend that create, they have great digital products. Okay. So you can time lapse that if you want to, if you want to create journals and planners, I have a, I have a bundle for you to get that as well. So I'm going to put that in the list It's right below down here in the description. If you want to time lapse it, but if you're like, you know what? I really want to create my own digital product It's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You need to get some tools first. So you can either use Canva to design, or you can just use Google docs. If you want to, that's a little bit easier too. So it's very important that you understand that when you are creating your digital product, you want to have quality. You don't want to just throw anything together. You want to have your branded. That means you want to have certain colors and things. You want it to look professional. You want it to look nice when you're doing that. So that's why I highly recommend if you're going to, you know, I wouldn't advise you to create if you don't have to. However, if you're going to use Canva, it's fine. Canva has some nice templates that, that gives you that start in there as well, depending on what type of product you're creating. So all you have to do is go into Canva and type in what you are creating. So let's just say our digital product that we're going to create is an ebook, right? We're going to create an ebook. So you can go into Canva and get an ebook template. Okay. So it does make it a little bit more easier, uh, but just know that Canva has certain, you know, design elements and you got to make sure that you read over their policies when it comes to sharing so even if you're going to use their templates make sure that you make changes to it you you know you don't want to step out there just using the template as is okay now when it comes to also creating the product as well that's something that you want to do i want to encourage you to not over complicate this okay don't don't try to you know, so many people try to go overboard. Don't overcomplicate this. If you're going to do an ebook, get grab an ebook template, make it nice, put your content together in that ebook so that you can sell it. Okay, this is day 11 through 15. It should not take you that long if you t if you pace yourself. Again, if you want to get this done a little bit more faster, I have a link in the description of the PLR. Get some PLR products, which you they are already done for you. All you need to do is add your name to it. You know, add some, add your little oomph to it. You know, make some changes to it, and that way you can have your digital product done fast. Okay. 
All right, so day 16 through 20, we got to build your sales funnel. As quiet as it's kept, if you want to sell this thing, you need a sales funnel, okay? You need a sales funnel. So this is where you can set up something so simple, okay? So simple, you need to have a landing page. So you need to have a page where people can go in and click and buy, okay? They need to go in here and click and buy. Then once you have a landing page, you need a thank you page. So after they click and buy, it needs to say thank you. Thank you for your prop. Thank you for purchasing with some, you know, maybe a picture of you with some notes, all that good stuff. And then you also need an email sequence. OK, now I know you're going to ask, well, Sharita, how many emails should I have to go in a sequence? OK, you want me to give you a number, have at least five. OK, so have at least five. If you have no idea as far as emails, how that works, I got some resources in the description to help you with that with some emails that are already done for you. All you have to do is just, you know, add add those things. So they are already created. OK, so it makes it super easy for you to do. OK, I think most of these emails, it's like five emails. OK, <laughs> so so listen, we're going to make this easy. You can get this done. OK, now you can consider platforms like Payhip. OK, super easy. It's free. You can start off for free. They charge you. They, they, they don't charge you to upload to their platform. They do charge you every time you sell it. OK, so every time you sell it, they take a certain percentage. OK, so just remember that when it comes to your pricing. OK, so pay hip, pay hip gives you that option. You can upload a digital product make the you know the page is already pretty much done for you you can add your title put some graphics up there you need some mock-ups some you know some digital product mock-ups and i got those for you too so you got to make sure that you have those okay make sure that you have those so let me make sure i'm writing something down so i got to make sure that you have these things in the description okay so pay hip you can use etsy or you just you know, upload it to Etsy. I want to advise Etsy by itself. Um, I will have Etsy and maybe and my own as well. Another one, good one is Gumroad. Gumroad, super easy. Pages already made. Thank you, pages already made. You can upload it there and make it good to go. Okay. Or if you have your own website, use your own website. This that that would be great too. Okay. Now remember, with your sales funnel. Remember, you can make, make sure you make your digital product irresistible. I'm going to tell you what I see that is very much great. I know that I love is bundles. Like if you're selling a bundle of something, but I know we're, we're doing the first digital product, but as you get along into this thing with digital products and having them a part of your digital publishing business, having bundles is absolutely amazing. Okay. So day 16 through 20 this is what you need to be doing you need to be building your sales funnel you whatever tool that you decide to use i have a list in the description that you can think about signing up for free there's some free ones there's some low cost ones so go ahead and um click that link below and you can you know get access to what tools you should use there's a ton of them out there just got to figure out what works for you and definitely what works for your budget okay <laughs> but make sure you choose one that allows you to build that sales funnel. So I know I'm going to personally tell you with PayHip, PayHip, if you want to email people and have an email sequence, that's not going to be the best one unless you have ConvertKit too. OK, so I have ConvertKit and I use PayHip. So those two work together. Now, if you're like you want something built in. Pin site is great, is built in. Gumroad is built where it's built in where you can set up an email sequence right there in the platform. So easier, the easier, the better, so that you can get this going. Okay. Now, day 21 through 25, this is where we're promoting, promoting, promoting. We're focusing on promoting. So you got to leverage your platforms, especially SEO platform. This is Pinterest. So you're creating pins, as many pins as possible about this digital product. You can even tap into their ads. Okay. Now, if you, you can also use YouTube. Okay. You can create content like I'm creating content right now and you can teach on the topic around what you have created. So say, for example, you created an ebook all about how to make cakes. So what you can do on your YouTube, you can create 
content around making cakes and you can lead people to your ebook about making cakes. Okay. So you can definitely do that. That would be a great place for you to create that content. I highly recommend SEO platforms because people are going to be searching because based on your research, so this is based on your research you did in the beginning, then you know people are searching for these particular products. People are actually typing these things into Amazon or they're typing them into Google. Listen, you, you already know that people are going to be looking for it. So using YouTube and using Pinterest would be great. Pick you one or two platforms that you can promote, promote, promote. Do not look for the fast, something to fast to happen so, so fast. If you don't have an audience, this is where you're going to build it up because you can make a million dollars just selling the ebook. Okay. But you got to build it in order for it to sell. Okay. So use those SEO friendly content driven traffic um, work, uh, places for you to, you know, get those sales. Okay. Don't miss out on blogs either. So medium.com is a great place to write your blogs. Okay. Again, if you want to really you know, make this a little bit more faster. And I'm not promoting it as going to be fast, but you can dab into, and you have the income, you can dab into the, like the ads. So Pinterest ads, Facebook ads, you can do that. Okay. So here's what I want you to do for day 21 through 25, schedule at least five promotional posts to launch that week. Okay. So at least five to launch that week. So that means maybe a post every day. So that could look like maybe you post in the YouTube and then maybe you promote pro posting on your community tab, then post in a YouTube video again and post it on your community tab. That way you're getting it out there. Remember people have to see things more than one time before they actually decide to buy. Um, really you, you know, you have 1% of people that's going to buy as soon as you put it out. But the other percentage, the 99% of people need to see it over and over again in many different ways. Okay. I want you to keep in mind that everybody learns different. Not everybody learns through video. Not everyone learns through audio. Not everyone learns through reading. So everyone has different ways of learning. Okay. All right, now we're going to launch and scale. So we're on day 26 through 30. This is where you officially launch the actual product. So what we did before with the promoting, the promoting part is letting people know what's coming. I'm putting out content. You know, you're doing those things, but now we are launching. So this is where you can utilize live video, okay? Countdowns, having bonuses. So if I'm creating an ebook for those people to help them to bake a cake, then maybe the first, I could say the first 10 people that buy the ebook, they're going to get these, you know, templates for free or these templates for five bucks, you know, having those things and make it exclusive. Make sure you also have it where you have, you know, getting reviews from people, upselling, you can do cross promotion. This is where you can go all out. Don't try to do all of this when you're launching and scaling, but pick your strategy. Okay. So you may say, well, you know what, with my ebook, I'm going to create um, a bonus where the first 25 people that um, get access to the ebook or they purchase the ebook, they're going to get a session with me for 10 bucks or something like that. I'm just putting out numbers, right? They're going to get a set. So you, if you do something like that, you have to realize your capacity <laughs> that you be, you have to deliver the 25 sessions. Um, so you can, you know, do something like that, but you want to have it so that it creates a little scarcity so that people are like, okay, she has a limit an amount. Let me go ahead and get that because I don't want to miss out and just let people know, Hey, this is limited. This is a limited amount of quality. Okay. This is also in the launch and scale where you have your email sequence going. So that's why you can use, if you're going to use pay here, make sure you have convert kit. Okay. They have to go together because you need the emails to go together. Okay. But if you want an all in one, you can have pin site, you can have stand store, you can have um, system.io, whatever you decide to use. I got a list. You can check them out, check out the list so you can decide for yourself. Okay. So 
that's what you're going to do. This is how you're going to launch and scale your first digital product. You're going to go through these days step by step. And I put 30 days because that gives you an ample amount of time to really get things done the right way. Okay. So you're not just putting things out just to put things out. Okay. So for real, for real. <laughs> okay. So let me know in the comments. Are you up for the challenge? Are you going to do this? Let me know when you do and tag me. Okay. I might want to purchase your digital product. So tag me and let me know. Hey, Sharita, I created my first digital product. Let me show you what I created. If it's not for me, I would, if you give me an affiliate link, okay, you give me an affiliate link, I would definitely share it. Okay. <laughs> I would definitely share it. So thank you so much for tuning in. And on this channel, where I talk about creating multiple streams of income and digital publishing. Make sure you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So when I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. All right. So if you're ready to get started in this digital publishing business, go ahead and register for the digital, the digital publisher online business blueprint, where it's a free workshop and I share with you how to leverage your expertise for and creativity create products that you love while avoiding that social media burnout um, i give you some actionable insights and proven strategies to grow your business and how to attract your ideal audience as well so you can earn that passive income so go ahead and register at sharitadeloach.com forward slash blueprint all right but if you're interested in um, going ahead and jump starting your digital publishing business all of the tools that i mentioned in today's video is actually inside of this toolkit so you can get an all-in-one resource for building a thriving digital publishing business with ease grab your toolkit for only 27 dollars. i have tools templates guides in there to help you to get started okay that's all for today's video create your digital product and don't forget to let me know when you get it done okay talk to you soon